it's Paola welcome back to my channel I'm very excited about this video because I really just want it to be a quick video where I talk to you about mock-ups so if you're new here hello hi I'm a graphic designer an artist and that's what my whole channel is about um, so subscribe but if you're not new here hello um, if you just need help with this area hello uh, I am going to be talking about how to use mock-ups how they actually work because I think a lot of people still have those questions. So I just figured this was the place where we will just show you first how to use a mock-up and kind of the format they come in and just a bit more about them in general and best practices and things like that. Guys, as always, I'm here to help. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so let's just jump into how to use a mock-up and how to put your design into a mock-up so i'm just going to use one of my older designs and use it in this coffee cup mock-up that i thought looked very realistic and really cool and let's just do it so let me start by explaining how the photoshop file will usually look it's usually going to be a photoshop file so it's going to be different layers and they're all going to be named um typically these are named very organized and you won't be confused when you open the file so yeah don't panic <laughs> there are things like paper texture highlights you know something that makes it look realistic in the mock-up so you can just ignore those whatever it is if you hit the i button and delete it like does it change anything it's probably just making it look that much more real so don't worry about those and then the typically the part where you will put your design it's going to say put your design here or something to that effect and so it's very clear and it will explain to you where your design will go now in some cases too there will be a section to change the color of what the mock-up is so if it's you know a packaging or a cup in this scenario or the background of something uh, a bag whatever you can change the color on occasion sometimes you can't depending on the mock-up but if it says change color that that is the place you will change it so if you don't want this cup white you can change that and sometimes if the background is blank as well behind the mock-up you can also change that background color too so feel free to play around in any of the mock-ups that you download i mean it's a file you can change it and go back if you mess something up um, and let's just focus on adding a design to a mock-up so in the part where it says your design here what you're going to do is double click on the little screen that looks transparent so I just double clicked on it. As you can see, it opened into a new tab. So a new tab is kind of like a working file. So what you'll do is you'll save it and it will go straight into that original file and you can just close it when you're done saving. So since it is blank, you're going to bring in your logo, your design, and it's going to be with a blank background so that it doesn't have a background on the photo and it doesn't mess anything up. So that would be a PNG with a transparent background. I just brought in a design that was from something else i mean i know it doesn't go with coffee but let me just show you the example and um we're gonna hit save so i just do command s and then i close that section and it appears on the mock-up as if by magic and honestly it's really really simple but it is so exciting every time you put your designs into a mock-up it always just looks so beautiful and so fun and it just excites me with my design project. Basically, you can do whatever you want with those mock-ups, but that is the simple basis for putting something into a mock-up. It's really simple. It's usually laid out really well in the Photoshop file when you download it, and it's just fun. Like, I love doing this. I love finding, curating, making amazing mock-ups for my design projects. I think the best way to approach good mock-ups and finding the best mock-ups for your project is the vision you have for the brand. So I think that the mock-ups should match the vision. Um, so let me explain an example. I did a clothing brand personal project. It was very mock-up focused at the end and I was trying to utilize lots of different ways to showcase, you know, the logos and the different things I had made. I chose a very simplistic mock-up. So this is the one I chose for that brand. And looking back at it, I don't think it showcased something as well as it could it was for like like uh, vendor shows thrift shops like weekend markets type of vibe but the fact that i put it in a mock-up but it still wasn't in the real world and something about the lighting and the artificiality of the photo it just wasn't right and i think if i had utilized something like this that would have been a lot stronger um coming across 
what the brand actually is and the feeling of it. And of course, this looks a bit more like menu-y, but just something in a real world environment just elevates it so much more. You can also think about photography styles, such as flash photography styles. I really love these. They're from a on Adobe stock called Moixo Studio. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but they have amazing mock-ups on the stock marketplace, Adobe stock. Um, I love their photos because they're just so like a certain style, a certain photography style that I really gravitate toward, especially if I was going for a brand that was that style. Like if I'm creating a brand or creating something, I want it to look like that. Um, so that is really cool. Um, and then just utilizing more unique places and people and, you know, using the real environment. I think I really love like people interaction in in photos and I just think it makes it that much more human and makes your designs feel tactile and real. So that's just my two cents on elevating your mock-up choices. I think something in front of a plain background or something that feels a bit more stagnant is not going to feel as dynamic and exciting as a photo more like this. I just think that there are so many ways to do it and you will get there and you will learn. I've definitely made like mistakes. I mean, not really mistakes. I think it's just a learning process and I have changed how I approach mock-ups and branding in general. So like I said, I have a list below and I have a YouTube short um, that is where I get mock-ups most of the time. But like I said, like Moixo Studio, I really love those photos on Adobe Stock because they just upload their own. And currently at the moment, I'm really loving mock-up Maison. I hope I'm pronouncing that right too. But anyway, um, that one's paid and that would be for like personal use projects. So that one's really cool. I found a couple of free ones on there as well that I've downloaded. But yeah, you can buy like really better quality mockups. But a lot of the ones I have linked below are free as well or they require like a subscription fee. Um, there's just lots of things out there you really have to explore and look at like licensing, which for personal projects, it's totally fine if you're using it in your portfolio to just share like your wor own work. That's usually what the license is. Don't be too confused by that. Okay, so I really hope that you enjoyed this quick little video where I talk about mock-ups and show you how to actually use it. I know that I had some comments on a couple of my last videos where people were asking and I was like, oh, people don't know this as much as I thought. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm assuming that people know things. Like, I'm always here to help with even the little things and I'm not judging you at all as a designer, like whatever level you're at. I'm here to help. Like, I'm never, never judging you guys and I want to be able to like, share so if you have comments and questions you want to know something in design like let me know and i will do it um so yeah if you like this video please give it a like it really helps my channel I'm trying to get to 100k slowly but surely we are trying and yeah uh, i would really appreciate any feedback so i will see you in the next video okay bye